I got holes for all my clothes When I'm only skin and bones I'll come home to you I'll come home to you When I've seen the world in all its glory So guys, uh, first time in Montreal out here? Or? Second time. Second, second time. Second time, time for me. Yeah. And what do you guys think so far? It's fantastic. Uh, Cool. Yeah, we played the first time in a hostel in Montreal, and that was cool. But this is the first time I think where we feel like there was actually some some people there. There was a show going on. So were you guys friends before you started performing together, performing as a band? For sure. Um, me, Tim, and Byron, the two Francophone members, went to school together. Uh, Eric and I actually did, went to high school together for a couple of years. Yeah. And uh, I just it's it's like a long, boring, complicated story of how I know Byron and Etienne. But they met Eric through the scene as well, and I already knew him, and it just it, it took no time to see that it worked really well. Do you feel any differences between performing in Western Canada and uh, performing over here in the East? I find a bigger difference between small and large city between versus like East and West, but yeah, I think there are differences with every city, like little things that you like, or kind of pockets of a city that you're like, oh man, I love spending time there, you know? Do you guys uh, anticipate ever bringing that French element into your music? Or? Absolutely, yeah, we, and we've, we've sort of been like doing that as well in Regina. It's not just like now that we're down east, we've played French. We've really been like establishing this at home as well, and it, there's been a, a great response. If anything, there's been more resistance from the French community being like, you should play more in French and less in English than the English side towards French. Like, I find the, the Anglophone community has really been like super into the multicultural aspect that we're, we're doing in India. So you guys said you're, you're on a 55-day tour. You guys started in Vancouver and you're headed all the way to... Uh, Moncton, actually. Moncton, okay. yeah. yeah. We we're maybe going to go to Halifax. Now it's more so looking like Moncton and then back towards Montreal. And then we get to do a mentorship program with uh, Music Action, Culture on the Go, en français. Did you guys have a kind of a set theme for that album? I think that like the album developed kind of on its own. It was okay. a little bit more organic than like picking a theme and working off of it. But I think speaking to the, the title specifically, we found that collage fit the bill very well, both because it's a it's a, a bilingual word. It works both in both languages. Are you a band that's on the road a lot, or do you do you guys kind of uh, tour around the same places in the West? I think, it, I think it's sort of taken like a ripple effect where we, we started really locally trying to develop that. We've like done a tour, then we came back locally, did provincial tour. I think like our festival circuit in the summer is very much so provincially right now. And then it's just starting now hopefully to again ripple effect next summer, maybe Manitoba, Alberta, a little bit of BC, hopefully come back down east and just like keep expanding every year. That's like kind of how city, we... Playing a city is like a first date. I swear to God. It's yeah. like going to the point where it's like sometimes the day doesn't go great, or maybe she doesn't even show up. You know? And we've had a couple crowds like that, but it's like, we have noticed on these second and third dates in these cities, it's like, there's a couple people there, and like every time it changes a little bit more, and we kind of develop a little more, and like, a network of like a few people you meet one time, and they bring some friends. You have a few bad first dates, and then you figure out what to yeah, do better. You, and got then you, know. cities, you got a few cities, you get the impression we'll never call you back, or no? Well, it's more just like that's, that's okay. all that happens. I basically, we basically have come to the realization that, not to be cocky, but if we have people in the door, yeah. they are pretty usually down to just stay in. Even if it's not, there's been guys who come up and be like, you know, that's not really my cup of tea, but like, I really respect what you guys are doing. That's that it. is like a really cool thing. We just thing want to here. captivate people. It's really what yeah. we're after. It's like, we're just we, trying to make like real stuff. I yeah. think every musician is trying to make real music, but it's like, sometimes there's like a lot of vulnerability that comes with like trying to do something that isn't sort of like a safe bet that people like, there's a lot of safe bets around. Like musicians, we've all seen where it's like, wow, they're all so talented, they're doing something, but it's just safer. It's like, we're not the safest bet all the time, but like we're just trying to make something that's like fun and like. Like, engageable, the entire set is the other thing. I think kind of from the ground floor, that always starts from, like, it's, it's music that we love first, you know what I mean? It's we choose to play because we enjoy playing. Do you guys draw a lot of inspiration from your time on the road traveling to different cities? Do you see your shows kind of uh, going in a different direction? Uh, you know, as like a cumulative effect of, of all those travels. That's yeah, sort of momentum, yeah. For, for me sure. personally, I definitely feel like a, I felt like last tour when we came home, I felt like a rush of motivation from our, our tour. 
once you get back into the cycle of the real world, once you're like back at your job, and it's like day to day, you're just like, no, no, I, you know, that was there was something going on on that tour that I want to just like keep working on and keep doing. And it's yeah, me personally, I just really enjoy the variety. It's nice to be on tour and it's nice to be home, and it's just yeah, it's super cool to be able to feed off both. So you guys were saying earlier that uh, Sean and Eric have been getting some friends yeah, right. yeah. which is always yeah. good to hear. Hopefully more and more. It's tough, right? When you're in a city for like 24 hours and it's like, yeah. okay, we're going to show up at 6, play in the venue at like 8, or like sound check, and then it's like, order a beer or two, and, then it's... and you come up and they're like, bonjour, and you're like, bonjour, and they're like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you're clearly not. Oh, yeah. Friends. I mean, you're like, okay. If, if you guys got that in Montreal, just wait until you get to Quebec City. Yeah. You're going to have a great time. So uh, I was hoping you guys could expand the minds of our viewers and tell us about life in Regina and the prairies. I think it's like a, I compare it to ponds. I think that like Regina is a small pond if you compare okay. it to Montreal. And it's like, yeah. we grew up in a small pond, our like social situations are in this pond and we're just like, we've been living there our whole lives. So it's definitely different for us. And I think, yeah, it's, I think it's just size really. It's like, I look at Long Island and it's super cool to be here, but I'm just like, I have my own little thing going in Regina that I'm really into. I like coming here visiting and it's fun to especially be here with the band, but it's like, it's nice to go home and to just be like... For sure. That's what I enjoy about my time in Saskatchewan. It's like a little hidden gem, right? It's very isolated. For sure. I think Regina wants to become an art city. Like, maybe it's not there, but there's a lot of people. There is, like, a population that wants to be seen that way. And even, like, the corporate side of it, it's like they try to, they try to do things and stuff. So they try to be like, yeah, we're, we're all for it too. But then they took the, the film tax credit away. So a lot of people were like, oh, there goes any momentum. Yeah, I don't know. You can, you can go out and there's accountability amongst people because you know everyone for the most part. That's a good point. I mean, like, yeah. there, is, there is still... If you get too drunk, stuff. everyone knows. Everyone will know. Everyone knows. Yeah. And yeah. that's not cool. It's a nice yeah. place to live. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And check out... Uh, uh, Indigo Joseph's new album, Collage, available on iTunes everywhere. That there is a computer. <laughs>